Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Cobalt Empire. I am Nostalgic. Alright, so uh, it looks like we just got finished with doing a trade, I guess with a caravan. And uh, I can also see that we've expanded our farm plots. So let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and get another plot set up. And uh, that one's going to be for... I think we'll probably do just a variety of different things depending on the month. Uh, I also received a request to add in another uh, another another uh, hand made named I don't know dwarf. So uh, it was a request to find an animal tamer. And or an animal trainer, I'm sorry, uh, and to name it Sfingal, 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 Sfingal. I don't know. Um, so we've got this person right here, Avas Gusillus, um, who is a grower and uh, an adequate animal trainer. And right now that's the only person we have with that so the request was to name somebody with animal training Svingle and then have them uh, tame wild animals so we will definitely make that happen as we can I think last time I checked we didn't really have uh, a lot of wild animals around but uh, if there are some certainly it sounds like something that would be fun to do so thank you very much for uh, sending that request my way. Keep in mind, anybody else, if you don't have uh, a dwarf already in here, uh, feel free to, and you'd like one, feel free to uh, leave a comment on any of my videos for this campaign telling me uh, you know, what you would like your dwarf to be named and if you have a preference in, ter in, uh, in terms of their job. Let's see. Are there is there anything Osprey Man? Well, I don't I don't really know that we can uh, tame that. So, but we'll keep an eye on it, and uh, when we see something that we can tame, we'll we'll dang sure do it. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll wait on that to get finished on the farm plots. What else do we have going on? Uh, I think we talked about getting our clothing stockpiles. Uh, clothing stockpile set up so if I remember correctly <clears throat> if I remember correctly what you have to do for that is uh, you have to make two different stockpiles so we're going to make two separate custom stockpiles and we're gonna put them down here by the uh, by the tailor shop so we'll put a stockpile like right here and then we'll put a stockpile like right here and now the first stockpile what you want to do is you want to set it to take only from uh, links and it's going to take from the clothier but it will give to uh, to any anywhere yeah and th that is going to be for the new clothes Yeah, so what we do is we forbid metal and we forbid leather. Uh, let's see. We want to permit. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, so I guess we can do it this way. Uh, we want to permit plant cloth and silk is fine and yarn. Yeah. And uh, that should do it. So that'll be where the new clothes go. And then we want this uh, set up for the same thing, but it will take from anywhere. And that will be where the 
old clothes hopefully end up instead of sitting around everywhere hopefully yeah we don't want leather there we go and hopefully that'll work we'll see uh, we can go ahead and get some repeating tasks set up to make what we're gonna do is we're going to make we will do uh, we'll do dresses Yeah, five to ten is fine, and then trousers, and again, five to ten is fine, and then socks, and that should keep our dwarves in clothing. What's going on over here? I know we have a strange mood. Wood, rock. Gems? Is that what that is? So we're gonna have to. Uh, apparently, we need to mine out some of these gems. So, let's, I guess let's just go down through here, and I'll pop up the. Uh, you guys won't be able to see it, but I'm popping up the command prompt so that uh, I can quickly get these different gems dug out. So we know it's not going to be the wood, it shouldn't be the stone, there shouldn't be any kind of stone that we haven't dug out. No, it's possible. We'll just go down through here and get these gems out. We want to get them out anyway so that we can cut the gems. Where else? Any more gems down through here? Yeah, better go ahead and grab these two, just to make sure. Down, down, down. Okay. Oop. Hopefully it's not something that's in the cavern layer. So if it's in the cavern layer, that could be an adventure in and of itself. Okay, and there's, ooh, I don't know how we're going to get to that one. I mean, we could get to it if we had to. We'll just keep an eye on it. And if uh, the gems that we have don't satisfy his urges, then I guess we'll go grab it. But I'm hopeful that this will take care of his gem fixation. Hopeful. Silver. Looks like we never finished this floor here. There. Yeah, and there's the uh, actual cavern layer. Okay. Yeah, we've uh, we're eight. <coughs> excuse me, we're eight minutes into the recording and we haven't even <coughs> haven't even really done anything yet. There we go. Uh, or maybe maybe we already had it because he's taken off. So what's going on here? Nothing, huh? I think we were kind of waiting on weapons, weren't we? For our uh, or waiting on ore for our weapons to be made. Okay, so he got started. Very good. So he won't be going crazy, uh, at least not anytime soon. Probably a good time uh, to chop down some more trees, I suppose. There we go. Don't have to chop down too awful many. Okay, we could probably get... Oh no, yeah, okay, 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 okay. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Cancel all this. Oops. A resin open up mobile and pyrite, huh? Okay. Well, we have some other gems we can cut. Okay. Well. 
what's going on in here now? Oh, okay, so we're we're making the bronze maces now. Excellent, excellent. For the bronze gods, you know. Everything for the bronze gods. Okay, so we're still smoothing out. Very good. Everything looks pretty kosher here. Uh, we've got about a thousand prepared meals, about 250 drinks. So why don't we go ahead and uh, kick this back into gear with the brewing. Wooden wheelbarrows are done. Very good. So does this make us uh, does this make us kind of square on beds? Are we okay on beds now, or do we still need more? So we have what? Looks like 60, 60 dwarves. A ginkgo wood earring. Excellent. Yeah, that that's great news. You made an earring. You didn't even make a set. You just made one. Okay. So I have not forgotten. Ooh, there's our farm plot. Okay, I'll, I'll finish that thought here in just a second. Okay, so we're not. We don't want to do uh, plump helmets. So let's look. In the spring, we can do dimple cups, quarry bushes, or sweet pods. Why don't we do quarry bushes? Because I know in the winter we can do dimple cups, and then in the fall we can do pigtails, and then in the summer. We can do cave wheat. Let's do that. Let's do that. And may let's look at our kitchen settings here real quick. Spinach leaves, strawberries. Yeah, I'm fine with cooking or brewing those. Seeds. Yeah, don't cook the seeds. Uh, yeah, I'm okay if you cook that. No, don't cook the dwarven wine. That could be why we're going through our drink stock so fast is because I've got to turn that off. And yeah, all this stuff is completely fine. Yeah, that's completely, completely, completely fine. Okay, no criminals. Very good. What do we got here? We got anything that we can train? Stray dog. We could turn these into war dogs. That'd be cool. Let's do that. We'll do. We'll we'll set Svingal on it. Yeah, do it. You gonna? They're not wild. I do apologize. They're not wild, but you're gonna you're gonna help us out with some war dogs here. War dogs are pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. Yeah, I like that idea a lot, actually. So is this stockpile right here? Is this for? Is this only for plump helmets? I think it is. Weird. Huh. Uh, I think we that's just for plump helmets. Hmm. Trying to think about how I want to do this. Because the rock nuts are going to make quarry bushes. And the quarry bushes we want to be processed uh, before anything happens to them. We don't want, we don't want them to get consumed or anything they need to be processed cave wheat um, I think it will just get cooked um, and pigtails we will spin into thread so it might not be a bad idea to put a stockpile down here uh, is this the loom I think this is the, is this is this the loom I think it is yeah why don't we put a pigtail stockpile in here it's kind of kind of weird to have a food stockpile in your loom, but it makes sense to me. Okay, so let's just uh, block all, and then pig pigtail. No? Or would that be under something else? Hmm. What could that be under? Plants, maybe. Yeah, not under meat. I was looking in the wrong place for the plump helmets to be under plants. Pig. Yeah, pigtail. Exactly. 
I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I'm, I'm not actually like kind of feeling a little under the weather, but I really need to get this video recorded for you guys because I already took one day off this week. Um, I think I'm planning on taking like one day off a week, which means there'll be like one day a week where there won't be a, a Dwarf Fortress video. And I do apologize, but I think, you know, taking some time for yourself every now and again is, is kind of important. So, but um, I realized today I was like, oh man, if I don't actually get something recorded, then there's not going to be anything for two days in a row. And, you know, you guys might like find me and like whip me with a wet noodle or something. Okay, I think I think we could probably have our miners um, actually kind of try to get some metal. So the real question here is what what kind of metal do we want them to grab? Um, probably silver. I don't know, actually tetrahedrite might be pretty good. Well, so why don't we just dig out some of this tetrahedrite? Oh, that's a that's a really nice size vein. Yeah, that one's good too. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, they'll chew on that for a little while. Actually, probably not very long because we, we got those extra picks. So, probably won't take too long. And after we get that dug out, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and try to get our... Uh, what we kind of talked about with the barracks, the stairway. So, we're going to make like a room back here that kind of links into this room. I kind of like that idea. Hmm, what if... You know, my original idea was to uh, carve fortifications here, but the problem is you can't carve fortifications into this kind of wall. So if we wanted to carve fortifications, what we would have to do, we would have to actually just mine this out and then put wall, put like constructed walls in here, um, which would be, which could be kind of cool. And then what we could do, we could put like a bridge here too. And then when the enemy comes, like they come in, they try to come into here. And when they come in here, we just raise both bridges or raise this bridge first and then raise this bridge after some of them are in here and then have our archers like stationed here and they just pin cushion them. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. So why don't we think about that? So what I'm thinking we do is we just go ahead and mine this out and then we'll, we'll rebuild this section with actual wall. And then what I think what we'll do is we'll have branching off from this Maybe we will have, um, maybe we will have our archery barracks, which kind of makes me think that we're going to, I'm actually going to go ahead and I want to go ahead and mine this out, I think. And we're going to build an honest to God wall right here. Because if there's no wall here and people can just come into our barracks, then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of setting up these fortifications. I mean, we could even we could even do like some crazy stuff with uh, fortifications here too. We could do we could do like traps here, fortifications here, even you know. I don't know, kind of interesting. We can kind of go crazy with it. I mean, why not? Just have some fun, you know. So that and that's something I've like I've done before. Like I've I've set up like my uh, archery militias barracks like right behind fortifications but the only the only problem would be getting over to here well i guess what we could do is we could um we could i don't know how we would do that i mean we could just connect in a, a passageway back through here and then uh station them there whenever like the shit hits the fan okay let's build some walls so we're gonna wall right here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yeah, chert's fine. Oh, I guess we should let them finish that last little part right there. Do, 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 do. Okay, 
and then we're also wanting to I think hmm I don't think we're gonna put the statues in here. I think we're just gonna we're gonna carve fortifications all the way down. I think's the way I want to go with that. Yeah. And then let's make a bridge right here. It's like the the inner bridge, which means we'll need to put another lever in on our place right here we also that also reminds me we need we need to set up our grading whoops uh, we need to set our grading up in uh, for the well okay um, what kind of makes sense to me is to put the lever like down here and that kind of will help me to remember that this is the first gate and this is the second gate we'll need to make some more mechanisms rock mechanism no 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 zero so even if you try to type zero it's still it's funny it still uh gives you one okay so we're looking okay on beds yeah they that they got claimed like very quickly which tells me that they were kind of like waiting I almost started singing a really bad 80s song there, but you guys can uh, be thankful that I didn't. Okay. It may take a while before these things actually get trained, just simply because uh, since since Svingel is a very good planter, like his first priority is probably going to be planting. All right, let's look at our... St I was wanting to look at stocks and compare the number of beds okay so we're pretty much almost dead even on beds at this point beds to uh dwarves which means before too long we're gonna have to go down and uh make some more beds looks like we need to make some more doors and we're just like going through the doors aren't we Okay, so all that got done getting smoothed. Let's go ahead and go back to smoothing some workshops. Get that done. Okay, what's going on up here? We did cut some, uh, ooh, yeah, that looks, that looks great. All right, now we want to carve fortifications here and here yes very good and then let's build a wall so we're gonna wall over here so we're gonna go like this and then like this oops and then we're gonna put a door and turn on planning mode maybe a bit before we get a door in here huh Oh, it needs, oh, we have to wait for the wall first. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense, game. Well played, well played. And then... You know, I don't really like the idea of... Uh, I've got an idea. I have an idea. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build another wall. And we're going to put it, like, right here. Like, over here. So I don't really like the idea of like having a doorway here f that leads to everything else. Like I, I enjoy the idea of uh, maybe having a, I think what we're going to, okay, okay. It's going to be kind of like a military annex, I guess is the way that you can sort of think of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, an outer wall right here. And then we're going to dig in uh through here and we're gonna have like a hallway it's gonna come right over here does that make sense and it's gonna come through here okay and then we'll take the hallway down through here and then right here 
what we're going to do is we're going to open this up like so. Oops, we're going to have to get rid of some of that. And this is going to be where our archers are going to be. Well, actually, we need we need to make it a little bit bigger, because if this if this right here is going to be fortifications where they're going to shoot out of, where are we going to put the archery range? So we can put the archery range down here. So we could just mine the thing the whole way out, and then we would have to build our own walls. But I think instead, let's just let's just um, actually it might make it, to me it makes more sense to put our archery ranges right here. So let's just do like this. That way we're we're not having to waste labor putting walls in. Uh, the only problem with that is that it's only going to give us four archery ranges for our archers, but eh, I think it's fine anyways. Okay. I like that idea. And then maybe what we do is we have like a stairway like an up down stair right here maybe let's see how this looks that goes down to yeah that's not going to work so it's going to go right through right through there where can we put it oops yeah it can't go through the can't go through the workshop maybe right here it would be really nice if it was a little bit closer, I think, than to the hospital, though. What if we put it right there? Then it'd be outside. Yeah, that's not going to work. What about, what about there? Yeah, that would work, right? Yeah, that would look pretty good. Oh, damn it. What about here? Hmm. It's kind of a... It doesn't have to be a three by three stairway. It could be a smaller stairway. You know, since it's only for military use only. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I do that. I hate it when I do that, but I do that quite often, actually. All right. So like this, maybe. And then mine that out right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really? Really? Yeah, really. There we go. And now I gotta reset that in there. Okay. Crisis averted for now. There we go. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's not as it's not as cool as like I think I had envisioned it originally, but I think it's still gonna still gonna be kind of neat. And that way we keep the stairwell also separate from the from the barracks, so that people aren't wandering into the barracks. Because for some reason that just like it just doesn't sit well with me. So. Okay, well, I, we've done a lot of like planning and talking in this episode, so hopefully in our next episode we actually put some of this into action. Um, thank you guys for joining me, and until next time, game on. <laughs>